Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Lara Ostertag from Ravensburger, looking at Burgenland uh, by Inca and Marcus Brand. Yes. So this is a new game coming out this year. Yes, it's a new game coming up in March. Okay. And let's hope you can give a little overview of the game here. Okay. So Burgenland is a family game. The goal of the game is to get all of your buildings on the game board. Okay. When it's your turn, you you have the decision um, to take two cards of the pile or to place a building on the board. Okay. To do so, you need to drop four cards in combination of those landmarks. So here's a free space and I like to place one of my buildings here. I need to drop those cards, orange and yellow, okay. and I place the building. Then I get the prize that's printed on. So it's the changing symbol and you can find the symbol as well on the card. When you use it, you have the chance to change those landmarks. Okay. So depending to work on with the what card. you have, of yes. course. The first player who gets all of his, of his buildings on the game board is the winner and the game is over. Okay. Are there restrictions on where you can place buildings? You have buildings of different types? You can place your buildings on every free space, but you have to keep in mind some special rules. For example, you can only place a house if there is still a wall in the castle. Okay. And this thing called palace, you can only place it once in one castle. Okay. So it's some special rules, but still an easy game and nice to play okay. for the whole family. Okay. What are some of the other changes here? So you've got swapping symbols, but what are the numbers and... So the question mark is another special thing. You can take it and for example, you see the five, you can take cards until you reach the amount of five. So it's two and four, so six, but it's more than five, and you can take the cards. Okay. And we have, are these jokers, or are they something yes. else? The jokers you get when you build a wall, and you can use the joker every time you want to. So for example, when I've built this thing here, I could as well take two yellow cards, a orange one, and a joker. Okay. So it's really simple and easy to understand. Okay, two to four players? Imagine. It's from two to four players. Right. Is there anything else? Was that? No, so that's all the basic rules. Okay. There are some special things, for example, about a fountain, the mm. blue gaming piece. You can only set it in the castle, but you can find this red gaming piece. So you, to build a fountain, you need a combination of cards in blue and purple. Mm. You take your, your fountain there, and it moves on to the next castle, this time it's 10, to this one. Okay. Then I get a special prize, it's again the 5, so I take the cards. And the, it's the turn of the next player. Okay, last thing, cards down in the corner. Yes. That's something special about those big buildings. Okay. So you need four cards in the combination of the landmarks, mm -hmm. and even more you have to pay the master builder. So when I like to build this big one here, I need to drop four cards in combination. I've shown you, so yellow and orange. And, and then that extra I have to cost. Pay guy. I only have those cards, so it's four, but it's more than three, and I can take them, and that's it. Okay. And that price keeps going up yes. as the game progresses. So the next one has to pay five. Or even have to look for one, ah, and so okay. on. Thanks very much for the overview. You're welcome.